what's going on you're watching rebel tv and you're also watching the third episode of such a hard ass riff what we're doing today is not really a riff it's actually a breakdown now some people call it a breakdown others call it an interlude we're gonna go with breakdown because most people say so so it's not a main riff it's a breakdown the breakdown from angel of death by slayer from the album rain and blood <laughs> Now this breakdown is so f***ing difficult, it's so confusing, so difficult to understand just by listening to the original song. I mean you could play it over and over again and you would still not get it. So just like always, we're gonna talk about what makes this song difficult or what makes this breakdown so difficult and then we're gonna learn to play it. So grab your guitar and watch closely. Now what makes this breakdown so difficult is the chromatic notes which create a sort of spider motion. And you probably know that Slayer are so familiar with irregular tritonic scales that contain a lot of chromatic notes. So now that you know why this song is so difficult or this breakdown, it's time to learn this breakdown. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. So first you're gonna do this. You're gonna play an E note on the A string, which is on the seventh fret. You're gonna play an E note and hammer on the F note then return to the E, like this. And then you're gonna play four notes on the E string, the fat string. So now we have this. Then you're gonna do the same thing, but on the E flat. So we're gonna play an E flat, hammer on the E, and then return to the E flat, just like this. Now after you do that, you're gonna play one note on the E string. So now we have this. Then you're gonna do the same exact thing on the D note. So we're gonna play a D, hammer on the E flat. And again, you play one note on the E string. And finally, you do the same thing on the C sharp. Now when you play that C sharp and hammer on the D and return to the C sharp, that's the end of the first part. So here's the first part. Now we're gonna move to the second part, which is gonna kill your fingers basically. Now we're gonna do the same E, F hammer on but only with two E notes. Now after that comes the difficult part. You're gonna play an A sharp on the E string, an E on the A string, an A flat or G sharp, I don't know what you call it, and a G on the D string, both on the D string. And by the way, you're muting the A sharp and E. But the A flat and G are both open. So now you have this. Next, you're gonna play an E flat, an E, an F, all on the A string, and then you're gonna play an A note on the D string. Also, the first three notes are all muted, the last one is not. Finally, you're gonna play this, a C sharp on the E string, a G on the A string, a B and an A sharp on the D string. And again, the first two notes are muted, the rest are not. So now we have this. Now here's the full riff. And that was the whole riff, the whole breakdown. It's a difficult one, might sound easy, but it's not, obviously. But I always say this, if it's a difficult song or a difficult riff or whatever, you have to start slowly, then build up some speed, and day by day you'll get better. I'm afraid this is all the time we have for today, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe like always. 
and also check out my social media links down in the description of this video. And I'll see you this Sunday. Have fun.